Senior, Downers Grove North High School. Real life. I'm Sean Dockery, Junior, Julian High. These are the real stories of preps, Chicago Hoops. But Smooth D know what coming up. Whitney Young versus Julian tomorrow. Young is possibly the best team in Chicago. They even beat Morgan Paul. You tell me you You tell me Mac and cheese on your beats? I got it from Star and she made it up. It's good though. No fooling around, y'all. Sean's got to get himself to practice. Coach Jackson waiting on him. The coach knows his team's going to have to play a perfect game tomorrow. Whitney Young never lets up, and Julian's had an up and down season at best. Do or die. We could die tomorrow. Could be, could be. Across town, over on the west side, the enemy prepares. Whitney Young, they got all the banners, the city championship, the state title, everything Julian praised for Whitney Young done and known. We trying to get downstate, man. We trying to, you know, see them banners. We see them banners every day when we come to the gym. We want one. We want our name on there. Well, we gonna come out and we just gonna play hard. Shots gonna fall. We are gonna play D. We gonna stop Sean. And that's it. We gonna win. I think it should be a pretty exciting game. Unfortunately for Julian, it might be their last though. Julian ain't no joke, boys. You best get your heads in check. Let's get some rest tonight, guys. Get some rest. Do your schoolwork. We're gonna leave tomorrow around what? Around 2:40, somewhere along there. Jackson been dreaming of going downstate since he started coaching, and he got his team prepared. Man, they pump. Just give them the ball. They hold it. Back yeah, over at Whitney Young, the they know who they need to stop. Steady the opponent. Uh, the see the structure, baby, baby. the frill. You see how the light reflects back on you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's the that's the that's the, the, the frill of a superstar. <laughs> he may be ranked, right, but I'm ranked in my uh, church. Uh, you play him today. We want you, Sean! We want you, Sean! <laughs> Curry! <laughs> that's what we want. Game day. And the Julian boys got their game faces on. Game hats, too. Lil Mike making a statement. Yeah, he uh, got that hat from his mother. His mother's a bit perturbed about him wearing it. But uh, if he wins the game today, I'm sure she won't mind that at all. Yes, that's his mom's hat. <laughs> That's the secret. These, I have not watched so these. Bad. I have not watched these socks the entire season. Now I wish this thing had a smell thing on it, because then you all understand what I'm talking about. All the credit should go to these black Nike socks that have not been washed since November. Black Nike socks, baby. Black. Big game, man. Big game. <laughs> Bigger than most people's mamas, man. What's up, What's up with this? What's up with this game? Look, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, we too silly right now, but we gotta get focused, man. Cause we don't get focused. Coach gonna kill us! You know, they have all the ingredients. The only thing I question about it with Whitney Young is are they gonna bring that A game, as that quote unquote, as everybody says, because 
um, I think team-wise, they have no gaps. Oh, Brown. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Family, one, two, three, family. Here it is, tip off, and Whitney Young controls. But Martise Williams gets an early block for Julia. There's Martise again, starting off the game focused. Whitney Young crashes the board. Anton Palmer for three. It's just the beginning for him. But Whitney Young storms right back, taking their own trip. Give me a 30. Remember what we talked about about overextending. Okay? Overextending. Who sent the jump shot? Talk to me. The person that we need to get out on. So if he's on your side, you can't be chasing out there. Now remember that. Marcus White, big man, big stuff. Oh, Anton again. Marcus White tries it another time, but he goes down hard. That's the half, and Julie is up. Coach Jackson boys feeling the upset. But all the Whitney Young boys feel is a boatload of shot. Coming up next, Marcus White tries to bring his team back from a disappointing first half, and Sean goes down. It's everything you thought it was going to be. You got the Red West and the Red South going at it. You got, they throwing a boxing one on Sean Dockery. He, he's basically trying to figure it out. Uh, I just, it's just a very athletic game right now. Very two talented teams. And I tell you, it's going to be one of those last second uh, uh, buzzer beaters right here. Hold it up, little Mike. Oh, and one. Yeah, brother. playing with him. Sean to Martin. Whitney Young coming out with the thorn. Everything on the line. Stay with what we're doing. Stay with what we're doing. Don't get caught up in the hype. You ain't getting back. You ain't, man, you just out there. I'm thinking about you. You got two minutes to go out there and prove you're going to be out there, man. Marcus White ain't ready to say die. And he's bringing his team back. Things are rough. Bodies flying up in here. Sean's the one that ain't getting up. Right here, right here. Julian star play is down. His pops is fearing the worst. Sean's hurt, but nothing's gonna keep him out long. So back in he is. And Anton Palmer's there to help him out. Late in the game, and he's still knotted up. A huge steal by Sean. 
and Julian going to the line. If Marquise hits Steve, he could ice. It's not over. Hey, it's not over. It's not over. He sinks some boats. Final dagger. Jimmy <laughs> Young was one of the favorites to win it all. Now they out the playoffs. Julian High did it. They moving on up to the Elite Eight. Dream come true for the Bulls. The things that they did today, you know, you have to be here to watch. You really can't describe it. You know, those kids played um, an all-state basketball game. You know, like I said, we couldn't stop them. I feel good, man. We played together. Brought that out all together as a team. Boy, that's a team now. That's a team. T-E-A-M. This is one stepping stone that we got over that was in our way. This is not the end of what we're trying to do. Don't lose focus. Don't lose focus of what we're trying to do. Love y'all, man. Love, 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 love on three. Love on three. One, two, three. Love. They said Winnie Young's go win the city championship. We just wanted to prove to them that we 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 a team too, you know. So we just prove we we trying to prove that, but I can't I can't say too much about it because it's it's like I don't talk smack, so we gotta go to the next game. I'm, I'm happy though. I'm real happy. Julian's next playoff game is against another powerhouse from the west side, the Crane Coopers. Get him up, Will. Get him up. Will the three, sure fit for the NBA. Sean D's back page nemesis. Looking to revenge on Crane's early season loss against Julian High and Anthony Longstreet. Little man has one of the most feared teams in Chicago. All right, let's go. Last year we final eight. This year we're trying to get final four then, final two. I think we'll do it. Prep athlete of the week. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to get it over with, man. What? Craig Julian, round two. Okay, this one here, this is for the money. You seniors, I think uh, this should be enough motivation for you guys to want to play on the pavilion floor. Hey, we still haven't played our best ball yet. That's yet to come. I believe you guys have been saving it for the big game. We want to go out tomorrow and give 110%. And if each and every one of you guys give me 110, I guarantee you a victory. Back at Julian, they ain't taking their win for granted. The team's had a lot of tough losses this year, and they're playing with a purpose now. Okay, so we're still in good shape. Let's not lose, don't get caught up in the what? Let's not lose focus of that. All right? Got one hard up and back. One hard. Let's go suicide. Coach Jackson's burning his players. Suicides all day. Boys is worn out. Coach Jackson ran them hard, but he got fate. We're playing our, our best basketball, knock on wood, <laughs> right now. You know, so uh, hopefully we can continue that stride and tomorrow. Let's do or die. Do this for bread and meat. If you don't win, brother, you don't eat. Coming up, 
the match everyone in Chicago's waiting for. Crane versus Julian, Sean versus Will. A fight for a trip to the final four. This is it, y'all. Crane versus Jew. Neutral site, call is hot. It don't get no bigger than this. The newspapers juiced up everyone for this game. Sean versus Will. The rematch of the year. They don't even let the fans go in the same door. That's a rivalry, y'all. Y'all get your money in today. Julie's sitting on this side, let's go. I ain't sitting on this side. Yeah, you is. The Bears pop a doctor's work in the door. Hottest ticket in the shop is a piece of wood in my fleet. That's a fly fur, big diddy. Up in here for the place, up in here for the place. Big game, big battle. Sean, Will going at it. Nothing, man, you know you gotta come up for this, baby. This big like soprano. Inside, Will and the Crane Cougars ain't cracking. They know how big this one is. Every 17-year-old kid in Chicago dreams a game like this. Over in Julian locker room, it's all business as well. Not a peep from anyone. All these guys want now is a taste of the hardwood. It's on. It's live. Crane Jewel. Spotlight. Neil Bynum. The touch from downtown. If he gets hot, Julian in for a long day. Sean. Right back. Let's go, y'all. Yeah. Get it. 
Martinez for three. This is unbelievable. Martinez? Will's getting hot. He wants this game. He's going to put the team on his back. Time out. Time out. Play some defense. Some defense. That's bullshit. That's five times in the four of layups. Get him help when you're supposed to be in help. Stop getting beat off the damn dribble. Plus, you standing still down there on boots. You ain't moving or nothing. You take Dockery. I need a challenge, Street. Okay, you gonna get it come second half. You gonna get it come second half. Hey, take the to the like you just did. That's your challenge. Give him the up fake and take him to the whole spot. Will B ain't taking it to the hole, but he'll drop it from downtown. Time. If Julian is going to make this thing a game, they've got to stop Will Bynum. Thank you. Doc, Doc, listen to me. Listen to my instruction. We are not defending. We're getting caught up in the hype. Caught up in the hype. Uh, still got another half to go, man. What? It's tight. The coaches know it. The players fill it in the blood. Please get out, please. No, please. And there's another half still to play. And more coming up tomorrow. On the next rep. Let the guy come set the feet. You can give him a fake like you go on baseline. The second half. One, two, three. Julian's in foul trouble. Deshaun's on fire. Listen to me. Look at me. Y'all the best team in this gym. Is it enough to knock off Crane and Will Bynum? One, two, three. It ain't over with. If I tell you to get shot down, we get it. Don't miss the finish to the greatest high school game in Chicago history. On the next quest. So, oh, we stop. We stop. Everything we got. You got an ugly for a frown face with a basketball. Say I'm face with it. it. Originally, when it was in the book, it was only the eyes. Just a little bit more around than here, I guess. So you can know it's a basketball? Yeah, because it was like his, his face and then going to his chin. I thought he could draw better than that. Crane is not a really hard working team. Just because they beat Morgan Park doesn't mean we can't beat them. We can still beat them. But um, I think we're going to win.